my God. I would put my toes up there and hold it, but you don't want to see my trail of nails right now. I've been out in the wild for too long. I'm going for, going for the apple juice and you accidentally pick up a drink of pickle juice or something, but I don't know, some of y'all crazy people would like that. For a use, before use, before use, before use, yeah. <laughs> finally got my bodega fridge in. This is the one that I was telling you about previously that they were going to send me and it is a 12 volt RV fridge. It's kind of similar to the one that I got from them last year I think it was and it was about this size. It was really small. It's one of their newer ones. This one is I, I highly uh, underestimated the size of this one and how much room I may or may not have in this section here under the, the table that I built here in the bus but um, yeah let's hope it fits I didn't really measure I just kind of said oh yeah this one looks like it might fit um, so yeah anyways this one is 34.4 inches high by 23.1 inches wide and 21.1 inches deep so we're gonna measure right now because I don't think it's gonna fit. Yeah. Okay, pray for me. If this doesn't fit in here, then I'm gonna have to put it in my shed to tiny house conversion, which you guys haven't seen that yet. But if you follow me on Facebook and watch all my Airbnbs and all that stuff, um, you have already seen it, but there isn't very many of you who do follow me there, so. The majority of you haven't seen it but yes about a couple months ago I bought a um, shed with a loft in it and I wanted to make like another micro tiny house out of that but I gotta find the time which I have time but I don't have time when that rental um, is free and I can be there working on it so I'm trying to block out some dates in between guests so I can go stay there myself and, and work on that. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about this fridge and is it gonna fit here in the bus? 34.4 inches. Either this is gonna fit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Either this is gonna fit like a glove, or I mean, you have to look at this. I don't think this could have gotten any better. Look at that. So that's gonna be close. Let's measure the other way. So we got 23 inches. 23 from here to... Stop it. Can you see that? 23. Oh, literally right here. 23. So we actually got maybe two inches to spare there. <laughs> One more. The depth. 21.1. We need to go to the. 21. Oh my god, you guys. It's like I built this unbeknownst to me for this specific fridge. <laughs> this is crazy. Hold on. 21 right there. Point one. I mean, this is going to be as snug as snug can be. That is freaking awesome. Now, Donnie left me, so, and this thing is pretty heavy. I'm gonna see if I can get this shoved into this tight spot here. But first, I kinda wanna take it apart and see what it looks like. Ah, oh my God, I just twisted my ankle. 
Oh, that felt delightful. Okay. So, I'm not gonna uh, hook any of this up right now. I just wanna see if it fits. I'm scared. I'm scared. And it's heavy. It's very heavy. And I pulled my uh, I pulled my back out yesterday trying to start the dang generator because um, it's the weekend right now, so we've, we've been camping in the in the bus. But um, and it's, and it's a little warm. I don't know if you can see the see it glistening on me or not, but it's it's, it's a bit humid. So, anyways, yes, pray for me that I don't uh, bust anything out. Wow, that looks. You see that? There's a lot more room there than than what I measured. I think the measurements are off. So I think we're gonna fit just fine. Okay. Well, that fit way better than what I anticipated. Got plenty of room on either side and up top. Look at all that. What are they measuring? I'm going to measure this thing now because that ain't right. Somebody's off with their measurements. It couldn't have been centimeters. Was it? No, it couldn't have been centimeters. Inches. So we got, yeah, that's 30. That ain't 34 me all kinds of messed up okay well have to let them know that that's wrong and um i would put my toes up there and hold it but you don't want to see my trailer nails right now i've been out in the wild for too long we'll see oh it is 19 30 by 19 by Son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Can't get it. Let me put them down. 30 by 19 by 17 is what it is. Let me go find that box because that's a big old fat lie. Yeah, that's wrong. Maybe this box, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this box is this measurement. way it fits let's see what it says in here ah okay they were right I was wrong it's the box that was those original measurements and the actual fridge itself 19 inches by 31 inches by 17.9 inches okay so I just realized I record everything talking about all of this stuff on time lapse so i'm gonna redo it all over again not the same but maybe similar anyways here i bring to you bodega cooler rv fridge with ample fridge storage and even a freezer section now that's pretty good freeze space right there, I think, you know, I mean, when you're camping, it's usually stuff that you're eating right away, right? Unless you're like long, long term. I don't know. I don't, I don't do long, long term. So, so I don't know, but, um, it's always nice having a fridge and a separate freezer section. Me, I just maybe might have some ice cubes and a, an ice pack for my back, you know, one of those things, but, um, you have removable sides here. You can't see that one, but it's there. So you could put like your beverages on the side here or your condiments that works really well for the sides, side doors. And let me put that bag on there really quick. Okay, we're not gonna put it on there. You can't see it anyways. Then down here, oh, you got your little shelf here with the, your glass on there. You can move these too, anywhere you want them. Up, down, make them short, big, small, fat, little. And you got your crisper drawer down here. That's really nice too. And then right here you got your Emmanuel Extractions here that says, okay, it's an RV fridge. We've established that. And the brand is Bodega. We've established that too. Thank you, Bodega, for sponsoring this video. Um, this is the model C is in Cat, R is in Richard, 85X is in Xylophone. And it is a DC 12 volt and 24 volt fridge. And some of the cool features are on it. 
is this little light here. So like if you get up in the middle of the night in your schoolie or your tiny house and you have the munchies for some reason, I don't know what why you could have munchies in the middle of the night, but you know. Anyways, you open up the fridge and you can see inside and, and get your stuff without fumbling around and you know, going for going for the apple juice and you accidentally pick up a drink of pickle juice or something. But I don't know, some of y'all crazy people would like that, but not me. I'll eat a pickle, but I won't drink the juice. So great to have a light in there so you can see what you're grabbing. And then, oh, another cool feature that I really like um, that is the same as the other fridge, but this one's a little bit different, is it has reversible doors. You can open it from this side, but it's not as easy as the other one. The other one you could open up this side and you could lift this and it would open this way, either or, it was easy. This one, you gotta figure out which direction you want it then there's like this little tab down here. Let me get to this page real quick. And you just change the orientation that way. And um, yeah, see like down here, there's like a little hinge. And you just pop that off and you put it on the other side and you can switch the door. So then you can open the door from this direction or open the door from this direction, which I like this direction right here because it feels better for me because I'm right-handed. So if you're left-handed, it might feel better over there. But anyways, over here, you got your power button. You have your settings button. And then you have your fridge and your freezer setting L, L LED screen, then you have your plus and your minus to adjust the temperatures and whatnot. You can also download this onto your phone because there's a really cool app and they provide you with the QR codes in here for your Android or iOS if you have, you know, either or phone. And then, um, what else? See, so, yeah, I think there was a couple other things that I went over last time, but, but I don't remember, but um, the instructions are, are here and you can read all about it when you get it or you can go online too. I'm going to leave links for this in the description too. So if you guys want to use my link, it'll help me get a little bit of money and it'll help you guys save a little bit of money too. So it's a win-win situation. So make sure you use my link if you decide you're going to go and get this for your rig, your your RV or your tiny house, or um, shoot, you could put it in your, in your, uh, your semi truck or um, even your regular house. I don't know, wherever you want to do it, you can do it. Um, but what else? Oh, we just it's got some tips here. Tip says, um, this product have to be, huh, they, they've made that one word, product have, okay, this product have to be stand still at least for six hours, oh, another double word, this is one word, before use, so, this product have to be stand still at least for six hours before use, be before use, before a use. Before you, before you, before you, yeah, you, you get what I mean. And uh, then number two, the food if need frozen, <laughs> the food if need frozen effect, have to be storage in this product at least 20 hours, okay? You need to, to get the, to get the frozen effect, it has to be 20 hours. No more, no less, okay? And then number three, Put the food in the refrigerator for 12 hours, then move into this product. Use will be better effect. Okay? Now that we got those tips out of the way, I think um, we're ready to continue with this video. Also, let me turn this around here and show you how the backside looks. Because it's just as beautiful as the front. But this is how you hook it up right here. It is hardwired and you just have your positive and negative and you hook it up to any um thing you want i'm going to hook it up to this 12 volt cigarette lighter here um i'm gonna splice it because i have an extra one of these and i'm gonna connect them and then i'm gonna plug it right into my solar battery bank back in there but anyways that's real nice right that's nice look at that it looks like a real little kitchenette it's so party. I can't wait to get it hooked up. This is fun. This is fun. Okay. All right, so I just bought this uh, 12 volt replacement cigarette lighter plug off of Amazon uh, overnight instead of splicing the other one that I was going to show you. And it's too short to reach over here to where my battery bank is. So I have it just plugged in right now temporarily to my little EcoFlow so we can test it and see how everything goes. So all I did was just connect these two wires, black and red to here, to these black and red and plug it in and we have power. 
So, I only have 7% on this, but um, it should be enough to see how many watts it's pulling, which is pulling right now anywhere from 40 to 53. Oops, sorry. Uh, 56 going up to. So, I'm curious to see what it stays at when it gets to temperature. <clears throat> so, right now it's set to 74 on the freezer and 74 on the fridge. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this down. 32. Set this one. You want it not that cold. I think this side is the freezer section, so this won't let me go any higher. So this must be the freezer and this must be the fridge. And we want this one to be oh, a little higher. Okay, so right now it's 74, so I'll get back to you and let you know how long it takes to it gets to temperature. All right, so we are to temperature. It took only about, I'm going to say... 20 minutes to get the freezer to temperature and then on this side which is the fridge it took about two hours and you can see it's nice and cold in here drink is nice and cold and we've already got ice forming the drink in the freezer so that is awesome thank you bodega coolers